Women in coastline communities of Bielsa State have given a one-month ultimatum to the Niger Delta Development Commission, NDDC, to create job opportunities and empowerment programs to cushion the effect of environmental pollution caused by exploitation activities of oil companies in their areas. Taking a protest to the office of the NDDC in Yenagua, the women also called on the federal government to compel the commission to live up to its responsibility as an interventionist agency. Ovia Timmer George has details. In April this year, the Bayelsa state government issued a warning against the consumption of dead fishes that began to litter the coastline of the Niger Delta sometime in March. This has led to a death of fishes halting a culture woven fine into the riverine lifestyle of the people, prompting women of communities affected by the pollution to march in protest to the office of the Niger Delta Development Commission. All of our rivers have been floating with fishes because of the oil. And for that, we cannot have any food to eat. Fishes died in the sea, our parents suffering, our mother, husbands, children suffering. So the NDC should pass this message to the federal government that they should compensate the riverine area. They are giving loan every year to people. None of our communities has been given trust opportunities. It's our oil that they are using in developing Nigeria. But if you go to our communities, you will cry. So let federal government should come to our aid especially the women, we have nothing to do. Let them employ some of us are graduate, but yet we don't even have job. It is a lamentation of woe from the women whose means of economic livelihood seems to have been taken away. They will come to our communities, drill our crude oil and the rest. They will pollute the river water, kill all the fishes, nothing like uh, crops that will germinate. Crude oil has polluted everywhere. So NDDC should go to our community and do the right thing. They should develop our community, put road, do a drinkable water for us, and then give scholarship for our children to go to school. This office cannot make any approval, but we can listen, carry your matter, go with you to the up, and whatever thing they decide to do for you will be done. But I'm assuring you, even if you don't get all the honor demands, some of the demands will be done. This is September, October. If they do not do anything to our women, we are coming back in full force. By this time that you see that the cars are passing, we will block this road. Damage to the liver, skin irritations and cancer are some challenges associated with eating fish from polluted waters. But in the meantime, the women are asking the interventionist agency to provide some form of palliatives to guarantee food on the table of their families. Ofiye George, TVC News, Yenagoa.